Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can cut editable text out of an image in Photoshop. So what you're going to end up with is a transparent area on the image, which is the text area, and it's going to be editable and movable. Before we get started with this video, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. This is a transparent cutout from an image. What I've done is type the word Tokyo and I've made it transparent in the image below. Now it's really easy to do, but it's not self-evident exactly how you achieve this result, which is why somebody asked me to show them how to do it because it's not easy to work out exactly how to do it. And the important thing about this is that the text remains editable. So this is just a text entry for Tokyo. And so if I go and grab the text tool, I can actually put this back to where it really is, is in Ginza. And you can see that the transparency is staying intact. So let's go and see how we would achieve this effect. So to start with this process, I've just reverted the image. So it's back to what it would look like if, for example, it just came out of the camera. It has a single background layer. And of course, because it's a background layer, it's locked. So go ahead and create our type. I'm clicking on the type tool here, Arial Black. I've got a nice big black font because I want really chunky letters and 400 points I've already experimented with and works just fine. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type Tokyo in capital letters and just click the check mark here. Now I can move this into position. And I can do that now, I can do it later on because what's going to happen is that this type is obviously not only going to remain editable, but it's also going to be movable. So we're going to go to this Tokyo, the text layer, and we're going to apply the effect using this layer. So with the layer selected, we're going to click here on the FX icon, which is the add layer style icon, and then click blending options. And we want to be clicked here on blending options because this is where the key to the effect is. And what we want to do is go to the knockout and we're going to knock out shallow. That means that we're going to knock a hole in the layer below. And if we just left it at this, well, for a start, it's not going to work anyway. But even if we had the bottom layer set up so that it would work, we would still have this white fill on the layer. So what we're going to do is actually remove the fill from this layer. So there's two steps in this particular dialogue. One is to set your fill opacity to zero. And the second one is to set your knockout to shallow. And then just click OK. Now, if the background layer were a regular layer, everything would just work perfectly. The problem is that the background layer is locked and with your familiarity with background layers, you'll know that background layers can't have transparency. So what we're doing by leaving this background layer as a background layer is killing the effect. So let's just convert it into a regular layer. We can do that in any number of ways. We can drag the lock off here. We can double click on the layer and just press OK. Or we could choose layer new layer from background. So there's any number of ways that you can do that. But the effect of converting the background layer to a regular layer is that the transparency on this layer can now work. So you have to have a layer, regular layer below this. You need a text layer on top. You need to use your layer style icon here, set your fill to zero, your knockout to shallow, and you're off and away. So this is, as I said, movable. So I've got the move tool here. I can just move Tokyo around and I'm moving the transparency around on this image. And I can obviously adjust the text too. If I don't want the word Tokyo, if I want to use Ginza, I'm just going to type over the top of it. And since the word Ginza is smaller than the word Tokyo in this font, well, let's go up to 450 points. So you can see that everything remains editable, but what we've done is to create a transparent image. So now if you want to use this for something, you're going to have to save it in a format that will be usable by other software. The PSD format is probably not the best one to use. I would use ping. So you go File, Save As. And then from the Save As Type drop-down list, you're going to choose ping. PNG. Now what ping does is it saves transparency. So you're going to get a flattened image, but you're going to have this area transparent. So you can put it on top of something, for example, as a video overlay or whatever you want to use it for. So there very simply is how to create a transparent overlay in Photoshop using editable text. 
I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.